could you uh, talk a little bit about, were there any differences that you noticed between your year with Vic Fangio and your time uh, with Chuck Pagano and anything in particular you'd hope to be able to get back to doing this year that you haven't been able to do the last year or two? Uh, nothing really a big difference, you know, just different type of schemes, you know, uh, play calling wise, you know, uh, Coach Vic, you know, they're both great coaches. Let me start with that. Uh, you know, they have a different approach to the game. You know, Coach Vic was more of a disguise point, you know, roaming free, being free like that. And Coach Chuck really tried to ha have me do those things early on in the year as well. And, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just different, different with schemes. That's, that's about it. How big an impact, if any, do you think no off season last year and then all the, the, you know, mitigation protocols during the season, how big an impact do you think that had on you and on the team? I mean, it depends on how you approach it. You know, that's that's how I feel. You know, if guys doing what they need to do um, on their off time, um, their off time is you training, watching film, getting mentally prepared. So when it's time to come back, you don't miss a step or lose a beat. Uh, so I feel like that's that's all on you. But for me personally, uh, not too much. You know, I, I'm watching a lot of film, still working out. You know, doing the basics. Dan, Eddie, when uh, when Sean was promoted to the coordinator role in the winter, I'm curious what your immediate reaction was. Oh um, man, I was I was happy, man. I was I was very excited, you know, just the relationship that me and Sean have and you know what he's been through. You know, he's been a guy behind the scenes for a very long time, even before I got here. Um, through the process of when I was here, you know, that's one of the guys who helped me most, you know, of learning the plays, learning the scheme. So for him to to, to get that type of promotion, man, it's it's huge and I feel like it's it's well deserved. What do you see as his his biggest strengths as a coach? And in what ways do you see Vic's influence in him? Um, just the scheme wise, you know, the scheme wise, he likes to do a lot of different things. Uh, I don't want to put too much stuff out there, you know, uh, obviously, but he does a lot of different things and he emphasized on the same things that Coach Vic emphasized on with disguise purposes and, you know, just, just challenging us, you know, coming in and challenging us every day on and off the field, you know, being a better players and teammates and, and things like that. Brad Biggs. Hey, Eddie. Um, you're the mainstay guy in the secondary now uh, after Kyle Fuller was released. Uh, what were your thoughts on him being let go by the team with, with one year left on his contract? And, and had, were you guys hoping that uh, the team could have done something to, to keep Kyle in place this season? Because you've got some question marks uh, at cornerback. Um, I mean, I don't really, you know, question what the, the organization chooses to do. But what I can say is that, you know, when you when you play this game, you build relationships with good people. And, you know, Cal was like a brother to me. So, of course, I felt some type of way about it, you know, um, just seeing him leave, you know. But, you know, being a pro, a professional athlete, that's that's a part of the game. You know, everyone's not going to spend their time, you know, on one team for their whole career. So that's that's kind of, you know, that's that's kind of how this works. But. You know, I was I, I felt some type of way, you know, just the chemistry man Cal Cal has built and you know, me and him, he was the last guy that I've been with here for since I've been here, you know, um in, in a secondary. So to see him leave is kind of, you know, it was, was kind of frustrating. But now we just got a lot of young guys who's hungry and they know it's time to compete and, and time to step up. Adam John. Hey Eddie, kind of going off that to, to have your partner back there at safety to Sean, like to, to have that stability and have another year together how would you characterize the, the value of that especially for you oh it's huge it's huge you know I haven't played with a safety two years in a row since Adrian Amos so to come back and have that chemistry you know man it's it's huge especially back there you know you just like the guys on one tight road with each other you know I'm in his head he is in my head and the type of athlete that Gip is he, he brings a lot of stuff that we can use me and him together and also for the defense that Sean can you know with disguise purposes or you play this role or you play that role and you know, we both ready to take sacrifices and do what needs to be done to help this team win. But it's 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 very huge, and I'm excited. Colleen King. Hey, Eddie. Kind of going off Dan's questions about Sean Desai. Just how would you describe his leadership style, and has that changed at all now that he's the defensive coordinator? Uh, it's aggressive. You know, he's coming in, he's holding us to a standard, and you know, I, you know, I haven't been here, but from what I heard, you know, he's holding these guys out here to a standard, run to the ball, finish. You know. Uh, be in your playbook, run, do your keys, be on top of your keys, uh, pursuit, just things like that. And just seeing what he's saying and trying to emphasize for us, for the older guys to, to come out here and he's going to get on top of us and don't take it no, no way just to show the younger guys that look, yeah, these guys, we fuss at them too. So just trying to hold everyone to that standard is, 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 is one of the biggest things right now. And, and just trying to get this thing back to where we were.
Got time for a couple more quick. Uh, Pat? We've all seen the video, but why were you so excited about Justin Fields? Oh, man, just, you know, I watched Justin Fields, you know, obviously, you know, he played against Bama. So just watching him in college, I was a fan of him. And just to see the type of leadership, the athleticism he brings, you know, and, you know, we, you know, obviously we, we lost Mitch. Uh, we brought in Andy Dalton. And just to have a young fire quarterback like that, man, it's, it's, it's exciting. I'm just happy to compete with him and play with him. And last one, Dion. Hi, Eddie. Um, what went into your decision to exercise the voluntary portion of OTAs? And do you think that last year getting through things virtually the way you did kind of led you to believe that 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 you could take that option? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, that and just, you know, being able to, you know, do things on your own, focus more on your body, you know, mentally and just more individual things. And, you know, it's like I, I'm, I'm honestly happy to be back. You know, I, I can't say, you know, that I didn't miss it because I, 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 I totally did miss it. And uh, I'm just happy to be back, honestly. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you.